So what are the characteristics of the correlation coefficient? Uh, correlation is a numerical value uh, that describes and measures the three characteristics of the relationship between x and y variable. So it's a numerical value which is denoted by r and it ranges from 0 to 1. So what it describes actually, number one, the direction of the relationship. Correlation could be positive, correlation could be negative. Uh, positive correlation means if one variable is increasing, the other is increasing as well. For example, if I am uh, studying for more hours, my GPA will increase. So if I'm investing more time in studying, my GPA will increase. One is increasing, others increasing, it's a positive correlation. Um, so same way, if one is decreasing and others decreasing, again, it's a positive correlation. When the two variables are moving into the same direction. This is an example of the positive correlation. You can see that this is temperature in degrees and this is the amount of uh, bear sold. So, of course, this is from the Gravator book. So, we are, I hold slides. I'm using your textbook, which is Gravator, which I showed you in the first uh, lecture. So, all the examples I use in these lectures have been taken from Gravator. So here you can see that if temperature is increasing, the consumption of beer is also increasing. So here one is increasing. If this is 20, this is less. But if it is uh, kind of 80 temperature, the amount is also increasing. So this is called a positive correlation when one is increasing and another is also increasing. Here's an example of the negative correlation. Negative correlation means that if one variable is increasing, other is decreasing. As you can see that this is 20 and this is 60. On the continuum, if this variable is increasing, this is decreasing. So if one is x is increasing and y is decreasing, this is an example of negative correlation. So here's an example of a temperature increase and then amount of coffee solved. As the temperature is increasing, it means it's getting hot. So the amount of coffee consumption is decreasing. So that's the example of a, a negative correlation. When one variable increases, the other would decrease. You can look around yourself. There are many examples of uh, that if one is increased. For example, smoking and health is a negative correlation. If you are smoking and you're increasing this variable, the amount or quantity is increasing, the health will be going down. The second characteristic of the correlation is that the form of the relationship. The form of the relationship means the most common use of correlation is to measure straight line relationship. So correlation could be, in the Pearson correlation, we talk about linear correlation, or it's a form of relationship that it is forming a line, either it's a negative or positive. Correlation could be curvilinear also. Curvilinear means that it is one is increasing and then it is going down. For example, um, if you take an example of age and running speed, when you are growing, your age is increasing, your running speed is increasing as well. But when at the point when you are 40 plus or 50 plus, the age is increasing, but now the running speed is decreasing. So that's kind of example of a curvilinear correlation where we have a negative and a positive. So the second characteristic of the correlation is the form of the relationship, whether it's a linear or the nonlinear. The third characteristic of the correlation is the strength or consistency of the relationship. And that's the main thing correlation coefficient tells you all about. The correlation measures the consistency of the relationship. For a linear relationship, for example, the data points could fit perfectly on a straight line. Every time x increases by one point, the value of y also changes by the consistent and predictable amount in the same way. So strength or the magnitude of the relationship is also kind of characteristic that is uh, defined by the correlation coefficient. However, relationships are usually not perfect. Um, there are very few examples where we can have a perfect correlation. For example, in the salary and the months, there could be perfect correlation that for the first month, if the salary is one lakh rupees, then it will be, you know, in the second month, you will have two lakhs, three lakhs, four lakhs, and so on. So here is the months and here is the salary. But there's many, very few examples where we can have a perfect relationship where if one variable is increasing with the one point, the y variable would also be increasing with the same uh, magnitude or strength. 
although there may be a tendency for the value of the y to increase uh, whenever x increases amount that y changes is not always the same and occasionally y decreases when x increases so there are many examples uh, where x could increase and then could decrease also so there could be like a, uh, like this like there is a low correlation not necessarily every time x is increasing and y is also increasing but sometimes maybe x is increasing but y is decreasing so when there's a low correlation uh, it means that uh, it's not consistently uh, going in the same direction but there is a scatteredness in the data um, so if you look at this this is a perfect correlation which is an ideal correlation one so if there's a perfect correlation the magnitude or strength of relationship would be one correlation ranges from zero to one zero means that there's no correlation between the two variables which means that the variables are independent they don't relate with each other and one means that there's a perfect correlation that exactly with the same magnitude if x is increasing y would also be increasing so this is a perfect correlation as we go by uh, we could have a uh, dots like this it means this is a strong positive correlation because the dots tend to make a line again if we just make them scattered then it means there is a relationship but there is a low correlation because there are few points that are moving in the same direction but there is a scatterness so we can get an idea about the strength of the relationship and magnitude of the relationship with this plot which is called scatter diagram which we talked about strength or consistency of relationship uh, is measured by the numerical value of the correlation which i just told you it could be between 0 to 1 0 means no correlation and 1 means perfect correlation so this is an example of the zero correlation as you can see that the dots are just scattered and they are not forming any line like if the dots are like forming any direction or a line we can say that there's a relationship but in this example there's a zero correlation because the dots are not tend to form any pattern or line so for a correlation of zero the data points are scattered randomly with no clear trend or line the range or the sign and the strength of the correlation are independent um, for example um, the relationship of 0.6 and the relationship of minus 0.6 so the magnitude is the same or the strength of the relationship is the same regardless of the sign so negative sign means that there is a negative correlation which means that if x variables are increasing y is decreasing but for the plus 0.6 value it means that both variables are moving in the same direction so the sign and the magnitude are independent a correlation of one indicates a perfectly consistent relationship uh, whether it is a positive or a negative similarly correlation of 0.8 and minus 0.8 are equally consistent relationship so uh, sign negative or positive hone ka matlab sirf ye hai ki ye aapko direction bata raha hai otherwise minus 0.8 ya plus 0.8 ka matlab hai ki correlation badi high hai strong hai aur strengthened hai uh, but the sign means ki ek mein positive hai aur ek mein negative correlation hai uh, one of the most common errors in interpreting the correlation is to assume that a correlation necessarily employs a cause and effect relationship ye badi important baat hai correlation mein padhne ke liye uh, just pay uh, maximum attention to this point ke correlation ka matlab causation nahi hai correlation does not employ cause and effect relationship for example agar hum kehte hain ke smoking or health ka strong positive correlation hai still it does not mean that smoking is causing the bad health because we cannot claim causal relationship or causation until we do experimental study where we control all extraneous variables badi achhi examples mujhe ek wo joke bhi yaad aa raha hai ke jaise jaise wo ek america mein study ki unhone aur unka ke jaise jaise ब्रैड पिट की मूवीज रिलीज हुई रोड एक्सीडेंट्स बढ़ गए सो देर वॉज अ हाई कोरोलेशन बिटवीन रिलीज ऑफ द मूवी एंड द रोड एक्सीडेंट्स लेकिन 
इसका मतलब ये बिल्कुल नहीं है कि ब्राड पट इज़ अ किलर राधा दे इज़ जस्ट को रिलेशन जैसे हमारे बड़े कहते हैं कि पाओं का साइज़ अगर बड़ा है तो इसका इंटेलिजेंस के साथ के गंवार होते हैं जो भी टू वेरिएबल्स कैन हैव अ स्ट्रॉन्ग रिलेशनशिप बिकॉज दे बोथ आर मूविंग इन अ सेम डायरेक्शन बट दैट विल नॉट एम्प्लॉय दैट वन इज़ द कॉज ऑफ द अदर बट इट इज़ जस्ट सेंग दैट देर आज रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द टू इफ यू रैंडमली लुक एट थिंग्स तो हमारी बहुत सी चीज़ें एक ही डायरेक्शन में मूव कर रही होती हैं लेकिन ज़रूरी नहीं है कि वो एक कॉज हो दूसरे की ऑल दो दे मे बी अ कॉजल रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन टू वेरिएबल्स द सिंपल एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ द को रिलेशन डज नॉट प्रूव इट इवन स्मोकिंग और हेल्थ में हमें पता है कि स्मोकिंग की वजह से हेल्प हो सकती है लेकिन अनटिल और अनलेस वी रन एक्सपेरिमेंटल कंट्रोल स्टडी वी कैन नॉट क्लेम अ कॉजल और कॉज एंड इफेक्ट रिलेशनशिप to establish a cause and effect relationship it is necessary to conduct a true experiment in which one variable is manipulated by a researcher and other variables are rigorously controlled agar smoking or health mein aapne cause and effect find out karna hai to you have to control for all um, individual variables environmental variables lifestyle variables genetical other things and then after controlling all extraneous uh, variables Uh, by running the um, lab experiment, you can conclude that both of them have cause and effect relationship. Hai. A study shows a positive correlation between number of churches and number of crimes in uh, uh, towns and cities. Again, it is reasonable that small towns could have a uh, um, few churches and then fewer uh, crime rate. Uh, correlation हो सकती है. अगेन लेकिन उसकी वजह ये नहीं है कि फ्यू चर्चेज और फ्यू क्राइम राधा बिकॉज द रियल रीज़न इज़ कि वो टाउन स्मॉल है तो अगर स्मॉल टाउन है और उसके अंदर फ्यूर चर्चेज हैं और क्राइम रेट भी कम होगा बड़े सिटीज़ में ज़्यादा हैं और ज़्यादा ही क्राइम रेट होगा सो टू थिंग्स कैन रिलेट वेरी वेल कि अगर कोई स्टडी करे और वो कहे कि जी नंबर ऑफ चर्चेज एंड रेट ऑफ क्राइम इज़ वेरी हाईली को क्योंकि अगर कम है तो क्राइम रेट भी कम है बट एक्चुअली देर कुड बी द रियल कॉज बहाइंड इफ यू रन द कॉजल स्टडी देर कुड बी के साइज ऑफ द टाउन वॉज रियल कॉज ऑफ द रिलेशनशिप तो ये सारी चीज़ें आपने याद रखनी है कि वॉट आर द करेक्टरिस्टिक्स को रिलेशन रेंज इज फ्राम जीरो टू वन वॉट इज पॉजिटिव वॉट इज नेगेटिव वॉट इज लीनियर वॉट इज नॉन लीनियर रिलेशनशिप और सबसे इम्पॉर्टेंट बात जो याद रखनी है वो ये कि को रिलेशन डज नॉट एम्प्लॉय कॉजेशन it just tells us the relationship and doesn't employ that one is a cause and other is the effect